Okay, so now I'm done crushing all of those rocks. And if you look over here, you can see they're all in here. They're very fine. It's like a fine sort of powder of rock. Church butte tough. That's what we're looking at right now in a very small form. So now I'm gonna take this and I'm going to put it into the dry sieve, which is sort of like, it makes me think of when people had the gold rush and they were sifting through all of those stones to find gold. It's kind of the same thing. If you look closely, it's sort of like a screen at a very specific size with specific size spaces in between. This one is 250 micrometers. So we are gonna sift through this, or sieve or sift. I kind of mean the same thing when I say that. We're gonna shake it, and then eventually whatever comes on the bottom is finer than that, and that will go to the next sieve. So let's do some sieving. I'm gonna put you guys up here. Hopefully you can see from there. I'm gonna put what we ground up in the jaw crusher in the 250 micrometer sieve. I'm gonna shake it. Everything that's finer than 250 micrometers is going to go through the screen into this bottom right here. Whoa, that's a lot. So check it out. So now I'm gonna take this finer stuff and put it in this sieve. This sieve is 125 micrometers, so everything smaller than that is uh, what we don't want. We want to get rid of what's smaller because it's probably clay particles, which is not what we're looking for. So here we go again. Sieving out the finer stuff is a little trickier. The holes and the screens are so tiny. It seems to take a little bit longer. Ooh, but we've got some clay. Check it out. We don't want that. Goodbye. I put this in here. And when we're done, all of this small stuff will get bagged away and put somewhere for future study. And there you have it. Dry sieving. Okay, so I'm gonna do one last round of dry sieving. And I already got all the fine, fine particles, but now I wanna get any coarse ones out and separate those from what we're looking for. So we are looking for particles that are in between 125 and 250 micrometers. So let me do one last sieve. Oh, I have to put this on. So everything that's on the top here is too coarse to go through the actual holes in the sieve, and we don't want that. But whatever's in there, which isn't very much, we are gonna keep that to eventually be water sieved. So we get rid of the fine stuff, we get rid of the really coarse stuff, and we get what's in the middle, which is just right. Hello. So after crushing all of those rocks and putting them through the jaw crusher, doing the dry sieving, this is what we have. We've got this stuff, which is too big. It is greater than 250 micrometers. We've got stuff that's too small, which is smaller than 125 micrometers. And then we've got what's in the middle, which is just right. And that is from 250 to 125 micrometers, and that's what we want. And that's all that we have. So from a bunch of rocks, you just really get what you're looking for, which won't be very much, so we have to be very careful. Now I'm going to take this fraction of what we're looking for and water sieve it. 